Ben Franklin. Good, as we settle in, I'm going to ask our special guests to come on up to their special seats. It's okay to clap while they take their seats. All veterans on our attendance, please come on up. students, families, and community members. Today's a very special day. And first off, boys and girls, that was a fantastic opening. You did a really nice job, so thank you for that. But Veterans Day is really important. It's such an important day because the freedoms and the way of life that we live every single day, not just on November 11th, are a result of so many people in our armed forces around the world keeping us safe and secure. Heroes, they're not somebody who shoots a jump shot, or throws a touchdown pass, or even who sings a nice song, or plays a character in a movie. Heroes are people who spend time in really hard places, doing really hard work to make sure that we are safe and that we can have the things that we have every day. Sometimes that we take for granted. So that's our job for today, is to think about all the really wonderful things that makes America great, that makes Ben Franklin great, and to be thankful for the people all over that make that possible for us. 
All of the gentlemen and ladies to my left have played a part in that. And we want to say thank you to them today. And it's very important that we do. Because while deployed all over, we had individuals in this line right here that were in all parts of the world at all different times. And while they were deployed, they didn't have Captain Paul's hot dogs. They didn't have varsity pizza. <laughs> Believe it or not, they couldn't even play Xbox or Wii or PlayStation while they were there. It, it was difficult. But most importantly, they spent time away from their family and friends. And we're going to talk and think a little bit about that. Of Man, what would it be like to not be with your family and friends doing something really important that's way bigger than just you, way bigger than just Lawrence Township, and way bigger than New Jersey? So we have guests today, as we said, that have defended us all over the world in really hard places all over. We are so thankful and appreciative for all that you have done. And words just thank you is not enough. But we hope that today we can show you how much we appreciate all of your hard work and all that you've done. And how much we enjoy the life that you've made possible for us. So I'm going to need some help from all of our boys and girls in the crowd as we say thank you to our special guests today and present them with certificates of appreciation on behalf of the entire Ben Franklin community. So we'll be a little bit out of order, so what we're going to ask is, as we say a name, just give a nice big wave, and it is okay. We do not have to do the silent cheer today. We can cheer loudly and let our veterans know how proud we are of them. And I'm just going to ask that you come on up and be recognized. And again, a very small token, but we have a certificate of appreciation from all of our students, staff, and family members at Ben Franklin. So, if we could have... Nader Shenudo, come on up from the United States Army, who is Alex and Nicholas's dad. If we could have Beth Matsukis from the National Guard, who is Andrew. Frank Westfall from the United States Navy. He's from the United States Navy. He's Jonathan's dad. And if we can have Terry Durr from the United States Army, who's Jonathan's grandfather. have Marvin Van Heis come on up. And Barry Ketcho from the United States Navy, who's Elijah Griffin's grandpa. Next, we have Marcellus Coleman from the United States Air Force, who's Jonathan McCoon, great uncle. And we have Harry Evans from the United States Army, who's Timothy McMahon, please come on up from the United States Marines. Here's Karen McMahon's grandfather. Is Joseph Gasol in the audience? Give us a wave. Who's here early? We'll make sure we get the certificate, but Mr. Gasol is Nicholas's grandfather, so thank you very much. And if there are any other veterans that did not check in in the audience, please just give a wave. Thank you very much. And if 
skin. Words simply do not do justice because we realize that the freedoms that we have, all the wonderful things that go on at Ben Franklin in Lawrence Township in New Jersey and across the entire United States were made possible by service all the way back from 1776 until right now, people defending the United States will really appreciate it. We will continue on with our program at this time, so enjoy. The red, white, and blue.
Thank you, Ben Franklin students. We've recognized a number of heroes today, but I'd like to call up our guest of honor for today's ceremony, Commander Michael Dean of the United States Navy. <laughs> Commander Dean has recently rejoined us earlier this fall from spending over a year in Afghanistan. He acted in the role of Chief of Public Affairs for the Afghan Public Protection Force Advisory Group. And those are a lot of very fancy words. But what it means is that he helped the government to work to build a better, not just United States, but better Afghanistan. Working together in a positive way to make good changes. And to work together, talk, and show teamwork. Officially, Mr. Dean was awarded eight awards for his service there including the Defense Meritorious Service Medal. He served in his career twice in Iraq and in Afghanistan. And I think what's especially important is in his free time, there's not much free time, but in his free time, Mr. Dean didn't hang out, he didn't play video games, he worked with schools. And he worked all over Afghanistan to create a partnership, and as you can imagine, in another country, it's not easy to get them to work with other schools in other countries. But Mr. Dean, was working with Ben Franklin in talking to some schools in Afghanistan and did a lot of really positive things in addition to what he was expected to do. So we talk at Ben Franklin about always trying our best, always working together and taking care. Mr. Dean not only did what was expected of him, but he went well above and beyond, as he always does. Mr. Dean's a gifted soldier, but he's an even better person. I had the honor of getting to know Mr. Dean as a personal friend when I became a principal six years ago. And we've been friends ever since, and his kindness, his knowledge, and his generosity are absolutely unmatched in any person that you will ever meet, and I promise you that. He's a great person to work with, and I am extremely glad he's back. So welcome back, Mr. Dean. Not only... Is our country better off for your service? But being back now, Lawrence Township is much better off because Mr. Dean also acts as the supervisor of technology for Lawrence Township schools. And one thing we do know, and the teachers talk about this quite a bit, as far as technology goes, we are well ahead of many other districts and we do a really great job of providing opportunities for our students with technology and Mr. Dean is the driving force behind that. So on behalf of all of Ben Franklin, and on behalf of myself, Mr. Dean, or Commander Dean, I'm sorry, we want to say welcome back and thank you for everything that you have done for our school and for our country. I'm going to turn it over to some friends in Ms. Machetta's class who are going to help me to honor Mr. Dean. Dear Mr. Dean, my name is Mallory. I am in Ms. Machetta's second grade class. We made a book of letters to explain what you
My name is Sabis. I am going to read you my letter. Mr. Dean, don't give up because we need you. <laughs> also put a poem in your book, and it goes like this. Thank you, Mr. Dean, for all you've done. In our hearts, you're number one. You give up so much and sacrifice, you protect us all without thinking twice. We have our freedom because of you. We can't thank you enough for all you do. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a few very special thank yous before we conclude our program. First off, boys and girls, stay where you're seated, but just turn your head behind you. We want to thank families and friends for not just being here today, but for supporting us every single day. And a lot of people couldn't make it, and that's okay. Because we appreciate how hard you work to make Ben Franklin a great place. So parents and friends, thank you so much. Boys and girls. I would like to give yourselves a pat on the back, please. I am so proud of you. You did a wonderful, wonderful job today. We would also like to thank 
and we can make it a big round of applause. But we'd like to thank Mr. Rigby for working so hard. Goosebumps at least four times throughout that presentation, and that's because of the design and the hard work and practice that all the boys and girls put in with Mr. Rigby's help. And I'd like to thank all of the teachers who supported Mr. Rigby in the endeavor all week, this week, and for the last time. And if it's okay, we'd like to ask our veterans to stand one more time. enthusiasm and the talent that they have be a constant reminder of how important your service has been and what a difference that you have made. So we cannot thank you enough, but thank you for being our guests today and thank you for everything that you have done. Boys and girls, let's hear it for our veterans. And we'll be invited inside for some hot chocolate and some donuts. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much. Have a wonderful day. Happy Veterans Day. And students, please listen to your teachers. Thank you.